Ever wondered about the history of mutton korma? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's journey back in time to the opulent era of the Mughal Empire in the 16th century. Imagine the grandeur of royal banquets, where mutton korma first made its mark. This dish, a sumptuous blend of tender meat and exotic spices, was a testament to the culinary prowess of the Mughal chefs. As the Mughal Empire expanded, so did the popularity of mutton korma. It traveled from royal kitchens to the homes of the masses, evolving along the way. Each region it touched added its unique flair, adapting the recipe to local tastes and ingredients. Yet, the soul of the dish remained untouched. Slow-cooked meat simmered in a rich, flavorful sauce, a symbol of the culinary finesse that originated in the royal kitchens. So, from royal banquets to your dinner table, mutton korma has come a long way. Now that you know the fascinating history of mutton korma, are you ready to discover the secret recipe? Let's dive straight into it, starting with the ingredients. You'll need succulent pieces of mutton, preferably from the shoulder, a bunch of fresh onions, a medley of spices including cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, and black peppercorns, and of course, yogurt, which is the heart of this dish. Also, get your hands on some fresh ginger, garlic, and coriander for that added zing and freshness. The first key step is marinating the mutton. Mix the mutton pieces with yogurt, a generous amount of ginger garlic paste, and a pinch of salt. Let this sit for at least two hours, or overnight if you can. This marination process allows the flavors to penetrate deep into the meat, making it juicy and flavorful. Next, we move on to preparing the base. Saute finely sliced onions in a dollop of ghee until they turn a beautiful golden brown. Now add your whole spices, cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, and black peppercorns. The aroma of these spices sautéing together is simply intoxicating. Once the onions are well coated with the spices, it's time to add the marinated mutton. Stir well, ensuring each piece is well coated with the spice onion mix. Now comes the secret to a good korma. Slow cooking, lower the heat, cover the pot, and let it simmer. This slow cooking process is what makes the meat tender and allows the flavors to meld together beautifully. After about an hour or so, when the meat is tender and the gravy has thickened, it's time for the final touch. Garnish your mutton korma with a handful of fresh chopped coriander. The vibrant green not only adds a pop of color, but also a fresh herby flavor that balances the rich, spicy gravy. And there you have it, a dish fit for kings, mutton korma, right in your kitchen.